We are in module 2 working with Canvas app. In this video, we will have a demo for creating three level cascading. We will create plain Canvas app, use SharePoint as data source, create three level cascading drop down list and working with lookup columns. Let's begin our demo. In this demo, we will have two scenarios. The first one list in SharePoint online with the request type, request asset and request name columns. One for request type, for request asset and for asset we will name. do to manage the relation between them. Let's begin create blank canvas app. I will insert three drop down lists. Three. I will get my data source from SharePoint, so I will need to have a connection for SharePoint site. From the view, data sources, connectors. I have already one that I created before. SharePoint. My list is request asset. Connect here. The connection for the SharePoint site, the data source, a request type, a request type, it's run, it's not distinct, so before I begin I will select only the distinct, distinct, request asset, and request type this is the formula for selecting distinct from the list if I run now it will bring the distinct data okay second this drop down list will depend on the first drop down list I want to show the request drop asset column depend on drop down list request asset request type because I filter here with the request type now see hardware change it but it is not distinct also so I will filter it using distinct it is the formula and request asset this is the formula for the second one. Now, if I run, select distinct. Now I have two level. I will do the third level. Choose data source. Depend on. The third one will depend to the second drop down list. Apply. It will there is no data because here I filtered with request asset so here I will depend the matching field will be request asset apply update formula now if I run programming then it is uh, three level cascading drop down lists. Now the second scenario I have country list with the country name and the ID and the cities list with the title for the cities and lookup columns for refer to the country in which the city is located. Now create a new screen to separate them. I will put two drop down list insert another one this is name for this five okay now I want to assign the data source it's not here so from view data source connector share point the two this two list is cities and country connect 
here it will bring the two lists now I can assign the data source for the first one it will be country I will display the title okay for the second one I will put the cities and if I run the app it will list all the records in the cities list so I want to tell when I change this drop down list it filters the second one according to the choice of the first one the common field between the two lists is the country it is a lookup field so here here in the second drop down list change the items the formula to make it depend on the first drop down list so it will not be the cities I will filter use the filter function filter the city this record dot country country dot value equal to match the lookup field with the selected item from the drop down here it is drop down for this name is the drop down for dot selected dot title so now this formula matches the lookup field in the cities with the primary key in the country list if I run now change it will change depending on the first one France bring the cities related to according to the lookup field